Welcome, Welcome back, back to the Cruise Brothers React. I'm Johnny. And I'm Chris. We're back for our Viking Season 3, Episode 8 reaction. This one's called To the Gates. Finally, we're getting uh, the Paris battle here that, uh, you know, kind of is in memory of Athelstan. Man, bro, this literally all is Loki's shit, bro. All his ships, all his contraptions. He built it all. You know how many uh, fucking natural instruments and percussions they must have had in a studio to make this music? Oh, I just, those guys are playing drums. It's kind of like a drummer boy in those early uh, 18th century war. Yo, this, oh my God, this is exciting. This is a new feat, man, a new feat for our this cast. Is, this is my preparing. Got to do mad shit before going into war. Look at all this. They ain't dummies, yo. They got to get the arrows ready, the shields. Man, look at this uh, transportation system they got going. Shit is all so primitive. Back in the day, they just watch you prepare. These guys are just preparing a whole two days while Paris is out there just watching them. God damn, those chants are going hard. They reach the shore. Or the land, I should say. Athelstan could have been here. This is their forces, bro. Oh my god, these guys look pathetic. They're about to get destroyed. Look at them, them little ass crossbows. Yo, they closed the door on some, some of them. That's messed up. Left your asses to Lagartha. She gonna rip your legs off. No mercy for anybody, even the bystanders, Johnny. They don't fucking play that shit. <laughs> Lagartha's just <laughs> analyzing everything. I mean, they got bows to your heads. So I would be trying to shield that shit. She ain't okay. scared, man. This man's itching for a fight. Look at him. He wants to spill some blood so bad. Ragnar has his eyes peeled on that man. He's probably going to kill him on the battlefield, if anything, and say it was another person. Word. This guy's sweating balls. Got a sweating bunker up there. He's sweating bricks in that little ass room with that fire. Hey, man, they got some good protection. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, they got the biggest one. Yo, this is the big one. Damn, that shit is huge. Look at the yeah, side of that shit. They saw that. They're like, oh, wait, wait, what the, what the hell? hell is that? Hey, it's a pretty good constructed. Oh, it's a shield for the ram. It's like a cover. So what they could. What the hell? And, and they're That's nasty, cool bro. As hell. I thought they were bringing in a ladder or something. And they got archers covering them. They got a shield wall. They got the overwall. Look and they got Lagartha, archers. Look at yo. Lagartha knows. Remember when she said she was going to lead the assault? She's in here, bro. She said, fuck you, Kalf. I'm doing it by myself. That's what you think. Here we go. Whoa, they got arrows. Yeah. Finally. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever seen Vikings use arrows, bro. bro. You said that the last time when they were using arrows. No. Yeah. No, last time I was saying no because the last time the people who use arrows were not Vikings; they were uh, Atho Wolves, fucking people. <laughs> they all ran shit. as soon as they fucking got that shit done. Yo, y'all should have put your shields up. What are you doing? I should have just backed off together. Word. Yeah, that little ass plank of wood shit, is holding break. all of them. They got their shirts off and everything. <laughs> Yo, these guys are just reloading mad quick. My you know how long God. it takes to reload those crossbows? What wrong with this motherfucker? <laughs> he hit he got idiot. shot. <laughs> oh my God, what an idiot. Yo, Rolo. Is that Rolo? That's what happens when you get too excited out here. Bro, Rolo is an inch from death. Bro, Rolo ain't scared. That's what happens when you're scared. That guy was trying to put on an act tools yo uh -huh. look this guy's ordering they got more tools, got Johnny. pushed to the side at second command oh yeah she couldn't do it 
They're piercing remember, it. Remember what Look. he said. You guys might need the tools. And he was right. They're hammering that shit in like a nail. That's a weird uh, contraption. Big ass arrow. Yo, you need some precise aiming for this shit. Y'all, they're, they're taking out snipers right now. Some of these guys are fucking badasses without shirts on. Damn, bro. War ain't what it used to be. All this arrow play. What happens is a straight up hand to hand fucking battle combat. Bro, that's what, what happens, happens when you get close. The whole point of war is not to let them even get close, Johnny. Yeah, this is half the battles arrows. We don't even get to see them get close up. The gods must be with you, Floki, because no arrow has hit you yet. Everybody Word. else is just getting ripped. <laughs> it's it's bad to me how all the main cast is out in the open and shit. And not one of them has gotten hit. Yo, look, look at this. This is insane. This, is. this fucking city is mad big. They're only attacking one side of the wall. <laughs> It should be good, right? And they they fucked up. They don't got the rock techniques, man. They're over here just doing arrows. They don't have the game of throwing rock techniques. Yo, who is this? Oh, that's the, the king. king. Man. Why is he? That man is shitting bricks. That's why he has to put that face, uh, that mask on, so nobody will see his face. The sacred banner of Saint Denis. The cloth was bathed in his blood. Nadia's blood. What the heck is that scar in that guy? In defense of which you and all your order would gladly die. In nomine patri, sit filius, sit spiritus sancti. You right. motherfuckers are already praying. That's all they could do. Yo, this guy lucky as hell. He got two arrows on the shield. <laughs> These Vikings came hella prepared, bro. No. This is miserable. I hate they to be in this They got the extra ladder on it. And they measured that shit perfectly. Loki's a G. I mean, Floki. <laughs> oh, he... Nah, he no, this guy him, is man. really here. Bro, he's trying, he has a point to prove, bro. He about to fail. <laughs> like, I thought he was like a general conducting. Seems like he is. He, bro, that man looked like he barely in, a, in shape to fight. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. He's got some balls to be up here right now. I mean, that's something to give somebody some motivation, at least, you know? Yeah, we got the flag and it's black! Uh, yeah, I don't even know what the hell, why that would give them motivation, but if it does, sure, that, that'll that help. <laughs> oh, they're fighting back harder! Oh! It's working! Their faith, it's giving them strength, Johnny! Like, I couldn't even imagine filming a large-scale battle like this. And, like, <laughs> Yo, that lady got fucked up. <laughs> Like trying to control this many people for a shot. Oh, you heard that? They got oil. They're about to burn these motherfuckers. Uh oh. Oh shit, they ain't playing, y'all. He's going making a run for it. Let's they really go. they really gotta make a run for it to pull the fucking door open. Oh, look, Yo, he's already down. Insane. Yo, nah, this is hype right here, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, this is not the smartest play. Look how many people Bro, they got to sacrifice to get this okay, shit Okay, but this is what they got to do, man. This shit is savage out here. <laughs> that Holy shit was God. hot, bro. They really sent hella warriors out there to make a run for it. <laughs> and then think about this. Anything could go wrong. The arrow could, like, rip through the door and come back hey, out. Man, that's why they got more bodies to spare. If it would have taken them 50 men, they would have did it just for the fucking the, the W. Oh, finally, they're throwing rocks after fucking hours. <laughs> Yo, this is bloody. Look at Floki. What the hell is that? Yo, they is got that water. Oil. It's hot oil, Johnny. Oh, yeah. my God. They and they're about to set them all on fire. Yo, look, Floki. Now nah, that was hard. Wait a minute. You didn't think of this one, Loki, did you? You don't got fireproof Loki. towers, huh? He's hiding? Ragnar. Oh, hell no. He's Ragnar. Cowering. This is Ragnar's perfect excuse to fuck him up, Johnny. You want to hide like a little bitch? He wanted this, yo. This, I don't get it, man. This is not good. Yo, the Vikings are about to lose, bro. It's not looking good for them. It's way too hard to fucking 
attack a base like this, man. Oh shit, they're doing it! They're so close, Johnny. They did it! Oh, or did they? Wait. What's happening? I thought there would be mass soldiers waiting for them. Get your asses in there. Ragnar's a smart battle tactician, right? You think? Wait, this is a trap, Johnny. It has to be a trap. I get to stop. It's a trap for sure. What are you Wait. doing? Kalf just saved her life. Kalf just saved her fucking life. That's insane. And look, Horik's son knew too. Oh Damn. my! And that shit Yo, got like three people in That shit collateraled mad people. Look at this long ass hallway, bro. It's perfect to fuck them up. That's insane. No, this is too. Oh my god, he almost died. This is too terrible. That's insane. I think Ragnar knew this might happen, bro. I think he let this happen, bro. Bro, why would he let this happen? He did not predict this, man. But this shit is insane. <clears throat> oh, his people are dying. Get your ass! <laughs> well, it's really just fucking drilling all these people. Does that look like the fucking face of a person that cares? That's what looks like the person of a, fa a face of a person that knows defeat. What the hell's going on? Oh, no, yeah, but not Ragnar. <laughs> He's making sure nobody is running. So Valhalla's that way. Yeah. There it goes. We are now. It's going to stop him. At this point, he knows that he has to retreat, bro. They're losing. Damn, he kicked his ass out. Yeah, get off of him, bro. You're about to make him fall. Shit, dumb ass off of him, bro. It's not even that fucking big of a fall. Oh shit, that's the sun right there, bro. Going straight into battle, no fear. Loki needs to fucking pull it together. What does that mean, yo? He thinks that they've they failed because of Atelstan and that Ragnar's blood is about to be spilt. He thinks they're really about all to die. Atelstan did do this because Ragnar was affected by his death and he don't give a fuck no more. Bro, Ragnar ain't going out without a fight, man. Fuck that. Yo, look at Rolo, Look at Rolo bro. slow ass talk about slow. Oh, come on, they slow motion that. That's the only reason. Oh, yeah? That, ha that axe ain't fucking light, man. Jump, Rolo! Oh, shit. Well, Rolo's life probably just got saved by that. Oh no, is that shot? Oh my god, that looked like shallow water for a second. Right, he's good, bro. If anything, he'll survive now. Everybody else is gonna die. <laughs> what is happening? They're gonna lose, man. They're gonna take their very first L. They've taken W's way too many times, man. He's gonna take out the king, though, if it's the last thing he does. It's not the king, that's the Or, uh, yeah, the general. Oh, fuck that guy. <laughs> Yo, he really is just fighting through all these people. It's too much for him. This could have all been his, man. This is what you were so ambitious to achieve, Ragnar, and you failed. He's always been ambitious, man, but this time he bit off more than he could chew. He fucked up. I'm telling you, bro, he could have done this, though. I know he could have done this. Bro, they were outmatched, man. Even with all the shit that they had and all the plans that they made. But he didn't plan anything. Think about that. Ragnar didn't have a hand in this shit. He let everyone else take control. True. Oh, Bjorn. No. Yo, we know the fucking role will probably survive, but what about Bjorn? Oh, <gasps> it's over. No. Bro, what is happening? That's it, bro. Why are they killing off so many characters? And in the end. He's going to take this shit as a sign. Oh my God, it's a sign. 
Get him burned. I there. must live. Jesus Christ, they, they, they consider pagans as not even humans. Guys are one and the same. What, I need to know what happened to Floki and Rolo. Bro. I need to know what happened to Ragnar and Rolo, because I'm pretty sure those are the only two that survived. Fuck Floki. Defense of our great city. All hail the Emperor! All right, well, you don't want to fuck with Paris, man. This was this was the first place to successfully defeat the Vikings. It's a big win. With no underhand plays, just straight war tactics. They barely made us all, bro. Bro, I want to know how the fuck Ragnar got out of there because it looked like that motherfucker fell on their side. I'm assuming that they no, would have no, fucking he fell on the other side. Oh, okay. It was definitely up below the towers. Killed Atos then, man. Man, Floki really is losing everybody now for real. This is when he goes I off lost the deep respect end. for him after he did that, yo. Honestly. And one day. Damn. I will kill you. She told him straight up. If we ever got married, I'll still plot to kill your ass. Yo, that's crazy. She really gave this motherfucker a nice, crazy ass ultimatum. Say, so you want it so bad? I bet. Just know that one day I will take my shit back. He's stupid, bro. He is stupid, Ain't no woman worth that much of a risk. But he's literally blinded by the puh that he's getting manipulated by Lagartha. <laughs> That's hilarious, bro, because the fact is he's not she's not really manipulating because she told him straight up. <laughs> she literally told him straight up what she's planning. It's more of a lust thing for her, I feel like. You see? Yeah. Piss and blood. I think it's... <coughs> I mean, you are alive, so You're alive, aren't you? <laughs> I was just about to say that the name still suits. There's anything to fucking deal with badly. Excuse. That was the saddest I've ever seen. That's the thing though, like Ragnar takes so many W's, that's the reason people believe in him. Like, this one loss, people still will believe in him, you know? My instincts told me to do. He didn't even do anything for that battle, though. This thing, he didn't plan when shit. This start? Do you think I went too far with Floki? I like this uh, point of view. It looks like we're looking at him through Atelstan's eyes. Can you actually believe that he thought I would let him lead without my having an agenda? Hmm. <sighs> What? Was this? I was him. I'd worry less about the. Did he really do this just to make Floki look bad? Fury of a patient man. That's crazy. Well, you know, I can be very patient. So he did have something, uh, you know, plotting against Floki. We should know this, man. We should. We know I mean, right it, now, it, by now. Yeah. We just gotta wait for it. Obviously, but the thing is, we don't know exactly what he's planning. Even still. It's okay. He wanted to make Floki look bad for what he did to Athelstan. Paris is everything you told me it would be. I saw it. I knew he was thinking about Athelstan when he when that shot of Paris when he looked I'm at it. Bound and determined. That was just a test run, bro. He did that so he could test run it, and he used Floki to be the person to take the L for it because he was the one who planned it, not him. It's actually kind of smart, honestly, but fucking, yeah, man. Ragnar, Ragnar, honestly, he, it's crazy because the people in this in this show who are really the big fi figureheads are the people who are the most conniving and most like uh, people that think like five steps ahead. And King Erkberg, Ragnar, and all these big people have that in common. They're all just thinking like five steps ahead and using think, people, manipulating just, them. I think it's just King Erkberg and Ragnar. They're a different breed. I think there are two like you know, two opposition characters. Uh but yeah, I I felt it, man. Uh from the moment where we were about to head into Paris and crack that wall, you know, the the eyes glaring over at Floki from Ragnar. This man had his eyes peeled on him for a long time throughout that. I guess he got what he wanted, you know, to make him look bad. 
or to break we, him in some yeah, way to we, make no, him no, exactly. to make him you know what he did that for he, he made it he did that for him to question his god he knew that they weren't gonna win and he wanted him to realize that your god isn't here for you you know this fucking thing the thing that you killed Athelstan for is not here for you he tried to he tried to make loki look wrong in the god and in he, the eyes of his god it was a lesson. so it was yeah a lesson he was trying to teach him a lesson because he thought he thought by killing Athelstan in some way would help them win this war or something like that because he believed that Athelstan was just a plague to them or whatever but he showed him that you can't do everything by yourself my boy and he let him fail so that was interesting but it's crazy the fact that he went to those lengths just to show him a lesson um he he sacrificed it's it's really crazy if you think about it what ragnar actually did he sacrificed all his people and sacrificed a lot of things just to teach uh ragnar or, i mean floki a lesson not only to teach floki a lesson because the thing about him he's so smart he's thinking five steps ahead he also did it to like get an idea of what his enemy is like and their forces and he used floki to take the l so he wouldn't have to take the backlash of it and they can attack them again because look at rollo he's ready to go again he's like yo we're gonna do it this time we were this close he even let his son take charge in that moment yeah, like to his build son leadership skills bro he let him though because he knew that that would build him as a person he let him go up there because he knew what he was doing was trying to lead. Uh, he literally sacrificed mad people's lives in order I to agree. prove a point. So, yeah, so Ragnar definitely is a selfish person. Right that is now. similar to Urbert. And yes, they are very similar characters in that sense, especially Floki, too. Floki is another very selfish person. The fact that he thinks everything is about him. All these things happened and he's over here still blaming Athelstan for his uh, his mess ups and his um, choices, which is very crazy. So, yeah, man, there's a lot of selfish characters in this show, but yeah, man, we'll see what happens in the next episode. This was a pretty good episode for a war scene, for sure. There was a lot of good, uh, there was, was a lot a shocking of episode. There was a lot of good war moments in this, in this episode. I was definitely shocked by what Ragnar did here. And, uh, it was pretty funny to watch Loki squirm a little bit after being crazy in the head for so long. If you want to watch Vikings reactions earlier than YouTube gets them and in full length, pledge to our premium star tier over on our patreon you can also pledge to our standard star tier which is cheaper and get these viking reactions only a week earlier in edited form go check it out guys we'll see you in the next episode of viking season three thanks for watching take care of yourselves as always and peace, peace.